Next time when someone says you would never learn programming because you ain't a math person or because you are not from a STEM background, don't fall for that because that's not true. Now hear me out. Hello everyone and welcome back. By looking at the title, you've probably already come up with a bunch of reasons why some people learn programming faster. Let's see, because they are better at math than others or um, they can stay focused and motivated. Um, to me, these are legit reasons to factor in. However, in my opinion, they are not playing a key role. So based off of my experience and also working with coding newcomers, my theory is that when it comes to uh, learning programming faster, it is highly correlated with problem solving and the language ability. Now you must have heard many data scientists or programmer YouTubers say that you need to be a good problem solver in order to be good at programming. Um, so for this video, I'd like to focus on the language aptitude and why I think it is a key predictor of how people learn programming faster. What do I mean by language ability, right? Well, um, that is the ability to learn a second language, like the vocabulary and grammar and also the rules that link them together to communicate ideas and also intentions. So it is a good analogy for programming languages, which um, I think of as our way of talking to computers fundamentally. Programming involves creating instructions by combining symbols together, which we call syntax. And we also do it in a role-based ways, um, just like we do a human language or a natural language. To give you an example from my own experience, um, I didn't study STEM back at college and I don't consider myself a super math person. Um, in fact, I had no idea what programming was until my senior year. I still remember that my first coding project contained a subtask of selecting the last element from a list. Um, I had a hard time implementing the idea of last element. So I know that we can use the index, right? For example, um, for a list like this, one, two, three, four, five, I can see, okay, the last element has an index of four. Um, and I could just use that index to extract the last element. However, when the list changes to this, one, two, three, four, five, six, the first index is no longer indicating the last element. And at that time, I didn't know what to do. Then I went to see my mentor. Um, basically, she told me to think like a programmer. And a metaphor for this is um, when you learn a second language, you gotta think like a native speaker, right? So the only difference is that computers are dumb. They don't understand nuance or ambiguity. So you need to come up with a crystal clear solution that is also generic enough to handle any given list of any length. And that is how this language works. What she said was like a light bulb going off. And suddenly I realized, yes, I could use the lens function to indicate the last element of any list. So um, just that simple idea taught me that um, the fundamental role of communicating with a computer is dynamic operations and generalization. In other words, how can we generalize from one case to all the others? With this mindset is where I really started to gain traction. So for example, if we combine sequences of these generalized commands, we would have a logic flow. And uh, if we need to do the same operations adaptable to various inputs, we create functions. And then linking these functions or methods would give us an object. So I feel like everything just uh, got into the flow. So this is why I think at its core, the process of learning programming is more similar to learning a natural language than to learning math, where um, once you get the basic rules, it will set you on a better path and you will learn to code better and faster. This idea isn't just in my head. Um, in fact, a scientific study published in 2020 also identified the importance of language ability in learning programming faster. For this time being, I will skip all the technical nitty gritty and give you a very high level overview, um, but I will have the published paper linked down below if you're interested to check it out. Also, while you look down, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. In a nutshell, this study recruited um, 36 English native speakers between age 18 and 35, and they had never learned to code, and they were asked to take 
10 online Python courses with 45 minutes each. Before doing all the classes, participants did a set of tests to measure their math skills, problem solving, and also second language learning ability. And uh, during their online programming courses, the researchers were able to track how quickly they learn. And by the end, after all the sessions, participants um, took another test to assess their ability to write code using the knowledge they had learned. From this study, researchers found that scores from the language aptitude test were the strongest predictors of how fast participants learned Python. It actually explained 20% of the total difference in their learning rate. And by contrast, math performance on the pretest only explained 2%. Now taking everything together, these results identified language skills being an essential aspect of learning Python, while math skills were not very predictive of how well or um, how quickly participants could learn. With all this, I've been questioning some long-held assumptions or stereotypes about programmers or who makes a good tech person. So for example, um, college level coding courses tend to be taught only in STEM majors because it's viewed as a mass intensive field. And also another important assumption, um, the gender gap. Women often feel they don't fit with the idea of a typical tech person. And now should we think twice? Because numerous studies have shown that girls have higher language skills than boys on average. And now since um, language abilities are highly predictive of learning programming, then perhaps women should have more of a reputation for being good at programming. If you could take home just the one message from this video, I hope it could be next time when someone tells you or your, your inner voice creeps in and tells you that you will never learn programming because you don't have an engineer or math brain or just because you are a girl. Um, don't let that demoralize you. I encourage all of you to, to keep on learning and uh, don't give up. So boom down. Hope that you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Um, if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. So until next time, bye guys.